Okay guys, I had to put my hair up because it is just getting so freaking hot in here with these lights. This is the next box. It is by L'Oreal Cosmetics. So there's just a ton of stuff in here again. So let's check out what's new with L'Oreal. Magic Nude Liquid Powder Bare Skin Perfecting Makeup. Oh, <laughs> look at the color. It's like a deep cappuccino color, right? Okay, so I can't even use that. I would actually like to try out this foundation. <laughs> but look at it, I mean. Okay, that is definitely not gonna work on me. Um, it feels super light. If I'm just putting it on like this, it feels like watery almost, but then it kind of sets. Youth Code Texture Perfector Serum Concentrate. It looks like that. Packaging's really cute. Pink and very bright. There's the Revitalift Miracle Blur Instant Skin Smoother. I guess this is kind of meant to go on before you put on makeup. It says it's um, instant and blurring effect on lines, wrinkles, and pores. It also banishes dullness and evens out skin complexion. So I guess that's kind of like a primer or something. Age Perfect Hydra Nutrition Glow Renewal Facial Oil. New mascaras, there is the Voluminous Million Lashes Excess Mascara. That looks really cool with a giant um, brush on the front. Let's get that out of there immediately. <laughs> Put it through the ropes. All right, let's pull that out. Do, 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 do. You can see that. There is the brush for it. Youth Coast, Youth Coast Texture Perfector Day and Night Cream. I kind of lose track of what all these products are supposed to do because there's so many different things. <laughs> Ooh, that kind of goes with this packaging. So I guess these are meant to be used together. Color Riche um, Pencil in the shade Violet. And then I've got another one in the shade Cobalt Blue and another one in the shade Black. So those are gonna definitely get used by me because you can always use new eyeliners. Visible Lift CC Cream in light to medium. Yeah, that could work. This is the Shocking Extensions Telescopic Mascara. Somehow I haven't had too much success with the telescopic ones. I really like the Voluminous range because they have a bunch of different ones. I like those, but these ones somehow always make my lashes really clumpy. Okay, next box. Vichy and La Roche-Posay. Love both those brands. Um, I think La Roche-Posay is kind of my go-to skincare brand. So actually when they contact me, I was right away like, oh cool, awesome, because I love their products anyway. I've been buying them for years. Here I have the Roche-Posay Hydrian BB Cream. So the BB Cream. So I'm actually really curious because I know they're a great skincare company. So if they are making a BB Cream, um, like that would be cool if it works really well. Yeah, so there's a BB cream there. I can't really tell you my impression. It looks quite pink on my hand, but maybe that's a good thing because usually for European skin tones, you want something a bit more pink toned. And they also started a makeup line, which is really cool. So they usually make skincare stuff, but I guess they have a few makeup products now on the market. So this is the Tolerian Teint in Fard d'Ajou. So it's the blush in Rose Doré. Ooh, that's cute. There's a little mirror on the one side. So that kind of like flips over. And then the blush color is here. This looks really pretty. Let's just swatch that. Look at that. Perfect for skin, fair skin tones like me. Um, just looks like a really gorgeous pink blush. Wow, I can't wait to use that. That actually looks really bright up my alley. And then there's also um, a lipstick in here. This is called the Nova Lip Duo. So it looks like there is lipstick color on the outside, as you can see, and then inside there's kind of like a lip balm. So it kind of is a very sheer lipstick. It's kind of more like a balm, I guess. And as you put it on, it obviously kind of mixes together the inner part of the lip balm with the color. And then there's also in here the silicum um, fortifying Protective Fortifying Nail Polish. That looks like a really nice color. This is in the shade 18 Rose. 
they need to work on their names. <laughs> All their names are like rose this, rose that. It's a nail polish. The brush looks good. The brush looks like a flat brush, which is I prefer that. Kind of like wide, but also flat. And then there's also a product here from Vichy. They also make um, really great skincare products. And this is the ID Idealia BB Cream. So it's the Blemish Balm Idealia. And this is with um, SPF 50, uh, 25. I personally like the packaging. I always like their the French skincare like brands always have this like really sleek kind of high end packaging. So it comes with a, a really pointy nozzle. Let's just get some of the color out there. So there's the color. And these actually look like those colors will suit me because often BB creams is like the lightest color is like way too orange or too yellow or too dark for me. This actually looks like it could work. So yay for that. <laughs> this is the Waterproof Extreme Hold Mascara by La Roche Posay. So there's the um, waterproof mascara. This will be perfect for the summer when you kind of are sweating a lot and stuff. There's the brush. That is called the Respectissime Waterproof Mascara for sensitive eyes. So thank you so much to Vichy and um, La Roche-Posay. I can't wait to try that stuff out. I've got two more boxes. I'm getting tired. Yeah, this box smells so good. Oh my God, just the box smells good because it is by The Body Shop and there is some honey stuff in here. So first thing, there is a soap in here that is in the shape of a honeycomb. How cute is that? And it has like a honeycomb print and a bee. Oh, it smells so good. This smells exactly like their honey bronze line, that really nice honey scent. Oh, it smells so good. Yummy, I can't wait to use that in the shower. And then there's the Honey Mania Body Shop Body Butter. <gasps> Yo, this is gonna smell even better. Wow, that smells so intense. It, it obviously smells like honey, but it also has like a floral scent to it. it smells like honeysuckle more like honey. Oh wow, that smells so good. Just want to eat my arm. There's also the Honey Mania Cream Body Scrub in here. So this is, I guess, like a sugar scrub. Oh, it smells so good. I cannot wait to use this in the shower. It has little, it seems to have little, um, like particles in it that are a bit scrubby, you know, for like exfoliating, I guess, or I don't know. And then there's also the Honey Mania Eau de Toilette. I'm going to spray some of this on right now. It smells really nice. It smells exactly like the body butter. It smells very sweet, very honey-ish, very sort of floral, sweet, honey smell. I love it. Oh my God, I love this line. It says that the stuff is made with fair trade honey from Ethiopia, which is so cool because actually fair trade, I'm really into fair trade products. I buy a lot of fair trade um, groceries if I can. It just talks a little bit about where it's from, in Ethiopia supporting like local projects and stuff. I just love that concept that Body Shop has like of working with these like, you know, local projects in developing countries. So I don't know if I'd wear it every day. I don't know if I'd want to smell like this every day, but if you just want like a quick, sweet pick-me-up, that one is really cool. Thank you so much, Body Shop. Can't wait to use it. Last package, and it's a big one. So let's get this one going. This one is by L'Occitane again. Cool box, <laughs> kind of an unusual um, shape. L'Occitane Immortel Divine. Immortal Divine, and let's open that. Packaging is really nice here. So there's um, two products in here. Bottle is really interesting. Is that plastic or? Yeah, that's plastic, but <laughs> cool color. I love the yellow. Um, there's two products. One is the Lotion Divine and one is the Creme Divine. So I guess it would be in French Creme Divine and Lotion Divine. And what is it? <laughs> Good question. So it, it says this is like an anti-aging uh, cream. I don't know why companies are sending me all this anti-aging stuff. Do I look old? <laughs> no, but um, I don't really know like at what age really you're supposed to start with anti-aging creams. And the other thing is that a lot of it is disputed. But some of the some of the anti-aging products I've, I've tried are just really nice creams and they're just like, super moisturizing. So I actually like a lot of them. Okay, okay, it's really liquidy. It's really liquidy. Okay, it's like water. <laughs> it has kind of a strange scent. 
like herbal or something. It smells a little bit strange. And then this one is the creme de vin. This just a little bit. Ooh, this one's really rich and luxurious. Let's just get some of that. This one is very, very rich. So I guess this would be like a really good night cream. The cream seems really nice, like nice and rich though. Like it, it does have a really nice texture. So I guess this is more like a toner, like a cream toner or something like that. Um, because I think lotion in French is more like a, a toning milk. Um, I think that's more what it's supposed to be. And it says here to use it with a cotton ball. That makes sense. Like if you're using it on your decolletage or like around your um, forehead or something like that, you could just use a cotton ball to do that. So that's it from L'Occitane. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I'm definitely going to be trying out that cream and see how I get on with it. So that is it for the unboxing video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I am now finished and I'm going to go on my porch and enjoy my watermelon strawberry margarita. Mmm. I love summertime. So thanks so much for watching and thanks to all the uh, companies who sent me their products. Mmm. I'll see you very soon. Bye.